Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star, and I'm doing Oracle readings for February Aquarius. February Aquarius. So let's just see right now what the Oracle cards have to say for the February Aquarius. I have my friend Calypso right here. Calypso's been with me for a very long time. Now let's see. For February Aquarius, oracles. Let's see what the oracles want to say. The Akashic Record oracles want to say for the February Aquarius. What does the... Okay. <laughs> Crown Chakra. Crown Chakra. Okay. What else? inspiration and wisdom. So 8, 19. What else? Angels. Number 2. Let's get one more card. One more. If we can get one more. One more. One more card for February Aquarius. Okay. <gasps> Shamanic initiations. Children. Children. Okay, so children is number four. Crown chakra, number eight. Inspiration and writing, number 19. And then also angels, two. Number two, shamanic initiations, 35. So, four, eight. One plus nine is ten, which equals, well, one plus zero goes back to one. So, two. And then 3 plus 5 is 8 again. So there's two 8s going on here. And then 4. That's, a, you know, a divisive, a divisive of 8. Divisive of 8. I don't know how if I'm saying that right. But you know what I'm trying to say. 8 is the infinity symbol if you turn the number 8 on its side. So it's like a constant thing. It's what's supposed to be going on. I'm really kind of starting to feel like Aquarius, February Aquarius, you were maybe born, not maybe, um, I'm feeling like you were born to, to, to fulfill being a shaman, being a healer. You have connections with angels. You can communicate with angels. You probably once at one point in time in a lifetime, in another dimension, another incarnation, we're an angel. You have like a direct line to speaking with the angels. You can communicate with them. Now, children, that tells me like just I'm going to read from the book, but I'm going to tell you my intuitions from these cards and then I will read from the book. So, children. So this is a little baby's feet. Oh, it makes a heart and then look behind it is love. Another heart. Heart, heart. Like I said, I feel like Aquarius, February Aquarius, I feel like you were born to do this. I feel like you incarnated into this lifetime to have this path, to have this journey. Um, shamanic initiations, that tells me that whatever you're going through right now in your life, you're on the right path. You need to embrace it. You need to love the journey that you're on. You need to accept the journey that you're on. You also need to realize that whatever problems or challenges you are facing right now, it is being put in your path so that you can overcome and then you can also move forward in your shamanic journey to becoming the shaman. Crown chakra, purple, you need some amethyst, you need a lot of amethyst, make an amethyst crown. I also feel like there's maybe children around you, children being born around you that you're going to have an influence over. Maybe like you're going to become their mentor at some point in time. Maybe you are a child and you need a mentor. 
but even more so, I really feel like this is what you were born to be doing. So even if there are difficulties, if there are troubles, if you are feeling doubt, if you are feeling worry, if you are feeling anxiety, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You need to call on your angel guides. You need to know that they're there. You need to talk to them, vocalize out loud that you need assistance, that you need them to help you. Now, the one card that I haven't spoken on is inspiration and wisdom. So there's a lot of books here. In tune with the infinite. In tune with the infinite. So maybe there's some books you could be reading. Maybe you're supposed to be writing a book. Maybe you are writing a book. There's books, there's study, there's study involved in what you're doing and how you get to where you need to be getting. This card right here, shamanic initiations, like there's a Buddha in that doorway. And this is a very, these look like ruins, you know, these look like ruins. This is very, very, very old. Like, I'm in the United States, so I don't know about other countries. I'm sure other countries, since they're older than the United States, probably have ruins that look like this. But maybe this would be like, I mean, I'm just thinking of the places that I've been here in the United States. I would say maybe New Orleans could get close to being something that ancient, but even then New Orleans isn't going to be there. Like, that's not that ancient. I mean, if I took away the pillars right here, I would see, like, maybe Mayan ruins or maybe even Cambodia. Like, Angkor Wat type stuff. But there's these really pretty pillars right here. Okay. Exciting times. Exciting times, February Aquarius. Let's start with children. Let's read that. Review your contracts with your children. Create healing, clearing, or clarity. Your students or those seeking your wisdom are ready to connect with you. Hold space for those seeking enlightenment. This person was a past life child relationship. Be open to connecting with the new children who are being born onto the planet. This person was a past life child relationship. Hold space for those seeking enlightenment. Your students or those seeking your wisdom are ready to connect with you. Review your contracts with your children. Create healing and clearing and clarity. And be open to connecting with the new children who are being born onto the planet. <sighs> okay, so let's read Crown Chakra. Trust you know the answer within you. Focus on the clear cognizant skills. Call on St. Germain and the Violet Flame. Clear your crown chakra to align or to allow greater guidance and energy codes to come through your soul star chakra. Release any contracts that hold you back from knowing your own truth. Okay, trust that you know the answer within you. And focus on your clear cognizant skills. I don't know how many people are watching. And I don't know how many people that are watching me actually understand what your intuition is. I don't know how far along you are on this journey. Um, and But I feel like everybody has one of the clairs, if not all of the clairs. I feel like everyone has a psychic ability. It's just we have not really grown up in a society that encourages it. So um, a lot of times we can have crazy thoughts and we're like, why did I think that? And then like it will happen. Maybe it wasn't just a crazy thought. Maybe that was your intuition or your guide communicating with you. Maybe it was your higher self preparing you that something was going to happen. In your meditation, if you are not very, if you're a beginner at this, meditate. Try to just clear your mind and just only focus on one thing and try to keep the thoughts 
at bay and spend time in that in that moment of just being quiet, the mind quiet. Now it also says, I feel like I should add one more thing to that. The more that you do that, the more that you practice mindfulness and the more that you practice meditation and clearing your mind and keeping a blank space and being present in the moment, the more that you're going to be able to tap into your clear cognizant skills, the more you're going to recognize them, the more you're going to be able to use them. And the more that you use your clear cognizant skills and you more you use your intuition to guide your day and make your choices, the stronger it gets. Intuition is like a muscle. So it also did say clear your crown chakra and to allow for greater guidance and energy codes to come through your soul star chakra. Now, I want to tell you what I do every day before I go into public and whenever I come home after I get out of the shower from public because public is crazy and it can be kind of dirty, dirty energy, and it can attach itself to you, especially... If you're a being of light, and I can tell you right now, February Aquarius, you're a being of light. So one of the strongest and most potent and powerful cleansers, lemongrass. Lemongrass. I have lemongrass essential oil. I dab it on my head right here in the very top. Right here, the very top. In the morning before I go to work, before I go out into public, and whenever I get out of the shower. Lemongrass right here. I mean, lemongrass is one of the ingredients in Pine Sol. You can clean your whole house with lemongrass if you want. You can drink lemongrass tea to cleanse from the inside. But it's such a strong, clean citrus scent. It's There's, there's five essential herbs. Um... In the New Orleans voodoo culture. And lemongrass is one of them. It's one of the ingredients. That's just kind of like a cure-all. So lemongrass. Right here. Your crown chakra. Clear that out. Call on Saint Germain and the violet flame. Okay. And also release any contracts that hold you back from knowing your own truth. So if you have engaged in maybe parental relationships that where they're they're putting their wishes onto you and kind of making you feel like you need to be doing something or maybe it's vice versa maybe your children are making you feel like you need to be a certain way maybe your husband makes you feel like you need to be a certain way maybe your wife makes you feel that way maybe it's your grandparents you need to be who you are that's why God created you the way he did. He didn't create you to be another person. And all the other people, if they can't do what they think, if they can't do something in their own life, a lot of times they will try to live vicariously through you. Guess what? That's not what you're here for. And that's ain't nobody got time for that, especially now in the world. We need everybody to be being their true self that God created for this earth. Let go of what anybody else made you think that you need to be doing or need to be. You be you. God loves you. God created you. He knows you. Okay. So let's read angels. 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 I just went to that, but actually it was inspiration and wisdom, but we'll still read angels and then we'll go back to inspiration and wisdom. Your angel guides are with you and able to assist in the current situation. You can review your sacred contracts with the angelic realms. They may have work for you here on the earth. You may review your sacred contracts with the angelic realms. They may have work for you here on the earth. Crown chakra, aligning with clear cognizant skills, being very alive, awakened in the mind. And then here we have reading in tune with the infinite. 
I feel like once you get into that really good zone of opening up your crown chakra and being open to what you can do and what your angels are trying to show you, you will be able to see where you're supposed to be going, what you were created to be doing, what you incarnated on this earth to achieve. The Stargates of Vega and the Hathor Guides may be at, um, making contact to assist with sound healing or the new children making their way to incarnate on earth. Again, with the children, sound healing. Oy. To assist with sound healing, music, singing bowls, um, chanting. Any kind of music is going to be beautiful. Singing. Okay, so assist with sound healing or the new children making their way to incarnate upon earth. You may have had past lives with the angels and you have access to their legions and their wisdom. So excited for you, February Aquarius. I'm so excited for you. Inspiration and wisdom. Knowledge will set you free from this karmic situation. Claim your wisdom from a past life. Look at your other record houses to see the inspiration you can bring forward for yourself and others at this time. This project is divinely guided. Pursue it to bring a higher consciousness onto the earth at this time. Okay, this project is divinely guided. Pursue it to bring a higher consciousness onto the earth at this time. That means that the angels aren't going to let you down. You don't need to be worried about anything. You don't need to be worried that you're not going to have enough food or that you're not going to have enough money or that you're not going to have a place to stay or that it's not going to work out for you. The angels are guiding you. This is divinely guided. You need to pursue it because you're in you doing this. You're changing something. You're changing the energy that is existing on this earth. You're raising the vibration on this earth. Have you ever heard that expression, when we heal ourselves, we heal others? It's true. It's literally true. Claim back your wisdom from a past life. Okay? And look to your other record houses to see the inspiration you can bring forward to yourself and for others at this time. Sounds very shamanistic to me. Okay. 35. Shamanic initiation. Review the records for shamanic initiations and remember ancient teachings. I see Buddha. Now that I look up close, I think it's just a person. I really thought it was Buddha. Interesting. Maybe we're supposed to be looking at Buddha, though. He's not a bad person to look at. I'll tell you that right now. And he was a man. He was a man. So is Jesus. Jesus was, was the son of man. I love Jesus so much. Connect to the earth shamanic gatekeepers or guardians. Connect to the earth sh shamanic gatekeepers or guardians. This situation is an initiation for your higher self to grow in wisdom on the spiritual ascension path. Reclaim your shamanic gifts. Reclaim your shamanic gifts. You have a really big job, February Aquarius. I really don't want you to feel down or hopeless or anxiety, doubt, any of those things. That's what the dark side wants you to feel. Don't do it. Don't don't let them win because you can change. Your change and your growth and your healing will become this ripple effect and it will just keep radiating out to other people. To the children that are being born onto this earth. The new lives, the young lives, the impressionable lives. 
will also have the opportunity to probably heal some of the older lives, bring peace to so many situations where there's pain. There's a lot of pain in the world right now. Your purpose is divinely guided. This has been February Aquarius.